www.wordpress.com. Let me just confirm that because I don't want to get out the wrong website. Funvax, yeah. Okay, it's, it's uh, funvax.wordpress.com. And I've uploaded that video, and you've got to go check out that video if you have not seen it. Now, I have to ask myself, is this real or is this a spoof, right? It could be a spoof, but it wouldn't surprise me if people in the Pentagon are really talking like that. Uh, if it ends up being a spoof and I've ended up being had, then uh, hey, you know, I, I acknowledge up front it could be a spoof. But when I look at the video um, and I go to that website, it looks like it's, there's, there's possibly some reality there. And if that video is true, right, if that video is true, then that is exactly the way I would expect atheists to treat uh, human beings because they don't acknowledge that we are a divine creation of God. And so you've got to go check out that video that they think there is a, a, a DNA genetic malfunction with religious people and that they've got a vaccine or something they can spray in the air to correct us. And uh, man, oh man, uh, you know, when I look at that video, it's so obvious it's wrong that I have a hard time even fathoming that I have to defend why it's wrong. It's like, if you can't see that's wrong, get the hell away from me. To give you an analogy or just to open up your mind a little bit, <clears throat> I think this is a good analogy, okay? When I talk to most people about evil, uh, evil, right, the, the subject of evil, because a lot of people, especially atheists and the zeitgeist people and these new agers, they don't think there is such a thing as good and evil. They think that uh, everybody's right, Hitler went to heaven, and... Uh, they think that people do things because they don't have enough or they, they, they had a bad childhood or, you know, we just got to condition the environment. We've got to give you drugs, uh, Prozac, Zoloft, Ritalin, you know, uh, whatever we can give you to calm you down. Let me give an example. Uh, when a thief comes into your house, normal people think that if you're in the house and the thief comes in, that the thief wants your stuff. So if, if a thief breaks into your house, he wants your stuff, and so he's going to tie you up in a rope, right? He's probably going to put a, a mouth guy, a gag across your mouth. He's going to tie up your wife, going to tie up your children, and the thief is going to go for your silver coins that you have hiding in the closet. Or the thief might go for, you know, the jewelry that you 